In the hope to increase the potential for deterring future threats, the U.S. Department of Defense puts their expectations in new advanced missile and next-generation fighter jets with enhanced end-to-end -end strike force symptoms. In this video, we'll be reviewing the newest updates that will reveal some clues about who's likely building the Air Force's new secret fighter jet. Lockheed Martin's chief financial officer has dropped some hints regarding the aerospace giant already working on a new aircraft program. And all leads suggest it might, in fact, be the Air Force's secret new fighter jet. Reviewing the numbers given by Lockheed, the world's largest defense contractor, it comes clear that the company is working on a mysterious product. Lockheed CFO Ken Posenride made the comments that Lockheed's Skunk Works program saw strong double-digit growth and the company continues to execute on recent awards. As quoted, Skunk Works refers to the official nickname of Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs. The name comes from Lil Abner comic book, and the project was in charge of Ben Rich and Clarence Kelly Johnson, who decided to use the cartoon image of a skunk as its official logo. To give you an idea, Skunk Works is revered in aviation circles for having developed some of the most famous aircraft in American history, including the SR-71 Blackbird, the U-2 Dragon Lady strategic reconnaissance planes, the F-22, F-35, and last but not least, the F-117A Nighthawk stealth fighter. Another important factor is that Lockheed is already planning on building a large new facility in Palmdale, California, dedicated exclusively for a classified new project. This new secret fighter jet belongs to the new generation air dominance program destined to supplement and eventually replace the F-22 Raptor. As we know, the F-22 Raptor is one of the most advanced military jets on the planet and still remains as the stealthiest jet in existence today. Two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines with afterburners and two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles give the F-22 a top speed of Mach 2.25 or 1,500 miles per hour. Not to mention the fact that the airplane can fly at a trimmed alpha of over 60 degrees, making it highly challenging to detect and track by radar due to decreased infrared radio emissions and acoustic signature. To top it off, the F-22 Raptor has four hardpoints on the wings, each with a load capacity of 5,000 pounds and three internal weapons bays, where the main compartment is able to carry six AMRAAM AIM-120C missiles or two AMRAAM and 2,000-pound GBU-32 Joint Direct Attack Munitions. Back in 2009, the program had to be reduced to 187 operational production aircraft due to the high production cost involved, reaching the immense amount of $339 million. Other reasons were also the lack of clear air-to-air -air missions, a ban on exports, and the development of a more versatile F-35. All this together made 2012 the last year an F-22 was delivered. Without settling only for the F-22, the new secret fighter jet also aims to replace the F-35C, one of the U.S.'s most recent and technologically advanced jets that combines air-to-air -air and air-to-ground attack capabilities, and the most expensive model of the F-35 family. With large wings and more robust landing gears, the F-35C also stands out from its peers thanks to its one Pratt & Whitney F-135 PW100 turbofan engine, giving the jet a max speed of roughly Mach 1.6 or 1,200 miles per hour with supersonic dash and afterburner. The F-35C also has the greatest internal fuel capacity of the three F-35 variants, and carries nearly 20,000 pounds of internal fuel for longer range and better persistence than any other fighter during combat. But this aircraft, as we said, has the disadvantage in its cost of production. Spending about $34 billion will only get you one of them. However, the new fighter is likely to be an air-to-air -air fighter, meaning that it'll be able to borrow the shelf avionics, engines, and weapons from other aircraft, such as the F-35 and the F-18EF. Now, from the series of images posted by the Air Force, we can safely assume that this new jet will show a stealthy-looking arrowhead shape and, like the B-2A Spirit Bomber, will be given a flat appearance due to its lack of vertical stabilizers. 
And interestingly enough, the graphic comes just a few days after the Assistant Secretary's announcement involving the Air Force secretly designing and building a full-scale prototype of a new generation fighter aircraft. So we have Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman as the three big aerospace companies prepared to engage this project. But who actually built this new fighter jet? Well, under the assumptions that the plane is almost surely a stealthy design and the certainty that there's only one company right now building such fighters, we could say that the company behind this new jet is the same one that fashioned the F-35, Lockheed Martin. And it's understandable the company is indeed the prime contractor on next-generation air dominance. The next-generation aircraft shows a cockpit, a sign of the aircraft either being manned or optionally manned. The jet is powered by two engines, both positioned beside the dorsal spine and with exhaust nozzles similar to those found on the YF-23. With the lower surface longer than the upper one, this design masks perfectly the engine's infrared signature from below. As we can't see any kind of tailplanes, this means that the aircraft is based on the flying wing concept. The decision to not add vertical tailplanes could be related to the idea of a greater reduction in the radar cross-section, especially from the sides. An air-to-air -air refueling receptacle is also present on the dorsal spine. Above all, the aircraft's shape vaguely reminds us of the one spotted in the U.S. in 2014, where two mysterious aircraft appeared over Texas and Kansas. To top it off, we've already seen some graphics showcasing futuristic aircrafts in 2017 at the Air Force's 70th birthday, where they showed posters featuring the proposed successor to the SR-71 Blackbird. This aircraft, the SR-72, would have twice the speed of the SR-71, be able to penetrate defended airspace and striking a target well before being detected. But that's not it. We also noticed another hint published by the U.S. Air Force, this time on Instagram. Look closer at the shape hidden in the 73rd birthday graphic. This ship now appears to be strikingly similar to the sixth generation concept Northrop Grumman released in 2016, as well as the recently released concept. This next gen program for air dominance is meant to ensure air superiority over the US's potential adversaries like China and Russia in possible future conflicts. Now let's take a look at this fighter's direct competition. The Sahoy Su-57 When talking about U.S. fifth-generation combat jets like the F-22 and the F-35 Lightning II, their direct and fierce competitor is the Russian Sahoy Su-57. Being also a fifth-generation jet and with a combat weight of 22,046 pounds, the aircraft can carry it all. From short-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-surface missiles and short and medium-range guided and unguided weapons to aerial bombs in 250 kilograms, 500 kilograms, and 1500 kilogram classes. The Su-57 has a total cost of 42 million US dollars and can reach a maximum speed of 1320 miles an hour, equivalent to Mach 2 or twice the speed of sound. The advanced flight control system and thrust vectoring nozzles make the aircraft departure resistant and fairly easy to maneuver. The aircraft also serves as a test bed for integration with UAVs and several other subsystems including weapons, control and navigation systems, all being developed by Russia for its next sixth generation combat systems in order to add them in future manned and unmanned versions. Reports dating from January 2019 suggest that the third flyable Su-57 prototype is being used for testing and interactions with the Sahoy S-70 Ahotnik UAV in order to evaluate its avionics systems. From the side of China, we have the new twin-engine multi-role stealth fighter Chengdu J-20. This fighter found its purpose in 2017 when it entered service for the People's Liberation Army Air Force and was designed to compete against other fifth-generation fighters. Its twin afterburning turbofan engines and supersonic inlet DSI enables the aircraft to reach Mach 2.0 with a simpler intake than traditionally required, and it also improves stealth performance by eliminating radar reflections between the diverter and the aircraft's skin. For this unit, the production cost rounds about 100 million US dollars each. The carry weight for the J-20 includes up to six air-to-air -air missiles and longer-range missiles including the LS-6 precision-guided bomb. 
As a final note, the aircraft owns an advanced fly-by-wire system, and its fire control radar is an active electronically scanned array. Dassault Rafale Entering service in 2004 and known as the 4.5 generation aircraft, Dassault Rafale is France's latest multi-role fighter jet, costing around $120 million each. With three main variants and competing at the highest level, the Rafale is capable of air superiority, aircraft carrier operations, strategic target destruction, and nuclear deterrence missions. Thanks to its two Snecma M88-2s afterburning turbofan engines, the Rafale can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. It also has a combat radius of 1,000 nautical miles that can extend to twice the size thanks to three fuel drop tanks mounted on its hardpoints. Thai TFX is our final review and the Turkish experimental fighter that is set to combine all in one the best of a stealth air superiority fighter. The aircraft was featured during the Paris Air Show, presenting two 12-ton engines able to operate at a maximum height of 16.76 kilometers. The model is planned to reach a maximum speed of twice the speed of sound and an operational range of nearly 1111 kilometers before needing to refuel. In comparison, this number exceeds those of the US F-35 stealth fighter in terms of both speed and maximum operational height while matching them in terms of operational range. The Turkish Army also reported the use of an advanced glass cockpit with voice commands interface and data links able to control two friendly drones developed to fire air-to-ground or air-to-air -air missiles. A flying prototype is expected by 2023 that will cost around 100 million US dollars to develop, followed by a first plane envisioned to be ready by 2025 and the full fleet of 250 to be operational by 2032. That's the end of our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and feel free to share your own insights about the mysterious fighter jet in the comment section. Just keep in mind that all of this is pure speculation, at least until the first photos of the NGAD demonstrator are available to the public. Please help by giving us a like and subscribing to our channel if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new and want to keep watching our further updates, click on the bell so you don't miss any of our future exciting videos from Military News. See you next time.